a, a, a howdy, friendos. Howdy. I'd like to um, thank Great Zot for existing in a virtual realm. And uh, <laughs> playing Beat Saber like a fucking beast saber. Welcome to the stream. Tonight we're going to do some Metroid Prime 2. And then we're going to do some Bloodborne. And I feel better than yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I was just tired. Tonight we're going to do some good Troiden. So if you're watching this in the future, hello from the past yet again. Um, we didn't see Metroid Prime 4 at E3. However... Motherfucker Ridley was confirmed for Smash. Um, during this stream, I want to watch the video, the, the Ridley reveal, because it is one of the best character reveals I've ever seen for Smash. I mean, there's some great ones, don't get me wrong, but this one, people straight up got murdered. So, as a Metroid fan, I'm very excited. It's good to see Samus and Co. get a little bit of love. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's get started with this, shall we? I like the save room. The save room, uh, sci-fi noises are, are always a trip for me. I want to know where those noises are coming from. Also, how is it that every alien civilization has mastered the art of save room? I haven't seen a single save room in real life once. Okay, so, um... I turned on asynchronous, and I think that might help a little bit with a couple of different things, but, uh, generally we're still gonna get a little bit of the weird stutters. Someone in chat just said, I still haven't found the load save button. Wouldn't it be great if you could go back and load saves in real life? And like in Skyrim, how you can make saves. And then you can just... You know, go fucking murder a jester. And then load the save. I want to murder some clowns. You know, in fantasy worlds. Not real life. Now that is what's up. Did you see my strategy? Oh, that was so good. I loved that. Oh, man. Okay, uh, so... So... I don't think I can access this yet, right? Didn't- didn't I try to and I couldn't, or should I try to go there? Uh, since it's been a couple days, I'm wondering if anyone could, uh, give me a little bit of a pointer. Yeah, later we'll be doing blub diat. Your YouTube stream stopped. Oh, hello, you must be new here. Go back to the light world. I had a feeling I'd have to go back to the light world at some point, but I'm glad I have to do it now. This place was getting a little too drab for my tastes. Thanks for the info. No, without the sass, I can't stream to YouTube. I've often... I've often mentioned this on stream. But in case... You're one of the people that had not heard this information. Or if there are multiple people here, perhaps, let me... Tell you again that... It is within contract that I cannot stream to multiple channels at the same time. Which I think is extremely stupid. In fact, there are a number of people at Twitch who shall go unnamed who also feel that it, that is extremely stupid. But... I am able to go live on YouTube for a minute, and just say, hey, I'm live, go to Twitch, and then that's it. That I am able to do. So, uh... Yeah. You gotta choose sides. I'm more than content with choosing Twitch for my live streaming. Ah, 
I'm I'm fine with YouTube for my archive shit and Twitch for my um for my live shit. It's they both have their pros and cons in different areas. Some like poop tube have more cons than pros in my opinion. Damn son. Stream to Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Huh? What is, what is he doing? I'm hitting the like button, but it's not making him live. Goodness me. Goodness me, he just opened a portal. That's very not Christian of him. But that's a... That's a nice robot you've got there, Sonny Jim. I keep trying to share so that I could give him a prayer, but the prayers don't work. And if they don't work, then you gotta jerk. And if they don't jerk, then you gotta go to work and... Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let's just take back the past five minutes of the stream and start over, shall we? So, I watched Starlink. Uh, I'm disappointed that Nintendo Treehouse is now over and we didn't get another character reveal. Even though... Reginald... had said that there are more surprises in store in the next few months. Which, of course, I mean, they're always... doing something. It would have been nice to have a little something else at E3. This it definitely isn't on par with, uh, Sky with um, Breath of the Wild E3. Y you know the one I'm talking about. But, at the same time... At the same time, it would have been nice to have a little bit more. However, I did watch the Starlink Treehouse presentation. That's the game with Fox in it. And, uh, it's the Ubisoft... What I thought was just bullshit toy game. But apparently, when you buy the Switch version, it comes with Fox. And you can play the whole game as Fox. And it comes with another character, too. And you can play through the entire game and beat the entire game with that. And, um, the gameplay actually doesn't look bad. Like, there's a lot of different weapons and combinations. Fox is fully voice acted and actually has his own campaign. Again, this is just the information that I... This is just the information that I've been relayed from the Nintendo Direct. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. So he's got, like, a campaign on how he got into this universe, and apparently there's special guests, meaning the rest of the Star Fox crew shows up. And I, at first I was really just discounting this game entirely. I, I had no interest, and I said, this is bullshit toy game, I don't need more amiibos. And then I saw the, the gameplay and I thought to myself, there's nothing I can do over here? Oh, I need the, um, boost ball. Dumbass. I'm a- sorry. I'm a dumbass. Okay, we're good. We're on track. And, uh, you know, I looked at the gameplay and it looks pretty good. It looks like a version of Star Fox mixed with, like, Everspace, and... Um, it seems like there's stuff to do, and the, the worlds are big, and there's lore. I'm not gonna say it's one of my most anticipated games by any stretch of the imagination, but from... Me entirely discounting the game to to now, I feel very differently. And knowing that there's like uh, like Fox isn't just like a um, a cameo, he's actually fully integrated into the game, and you can play the whole game in an R wing, and you can swap weapons out and all that. I started getting a little excited, and then I saw the gameplay, and I was like, oh. So yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm I'm actually. That was not such a terrible thing to see. Let's talk about the other news. There's a little bit of a... Uh... Yeah, they get me excited. They get me hyped up. It's like Todd. Ubisoft is like, is like Mr. Howard. You know, you get hyped up and then you play it and it's just the Mothman bricking in your mouth for three hours. Um... There's another piece of news. It's that Mario Party. Talk to me about RE2 Remake. Man, that looks so fucking good. Alright. 
the other news is that Mario Party has online. It's only the mini games. It's not the board game mode, which I still find to be ridiculous. Like, all right, we got this far. Can't we just do the board game? Maybe they're worried about disconnects. But regardless, I still feel like it's almost like, yeah, you could still do it. You could still get that in there. Structural analysis complete. Structural integrity. Uh, Denzium. Den Denzel Washingtonium. Uh, yeah, I feel like they could just replace whoever disconnects with a bot and then hold their spot for them to come back. It doesn't seem like a difficult thing to integrate. However, there's also leaderboards, there's rankings, and the minigame mode is online. So it's a first step. I would have preferred if the whole thing was online, but I'll be honest, I was expecting zero online. 100% offline experience. So this is something. Um, they said Mario Party has more modes yet to be revealed. Someone said first step into 2006. I know. Why are they so far ahead of the curve in some ways and then so far behind in other ways? Like, Waluigi was introduced, what, like 18 years ago, and we still have no Waluigi? Speaking of Waluigi, I'd like to show you this, um... This video that, uh, has been making the rounds. I believe this is made by Funk... Funky Pills? And it's proof that Waluigi is, in fact, in Smash Ultimate. The whole time. He wasn't just in Smash Ultimate, he was in every Smash. I love that. Thank you for that. Whoever sent that to me, I, I fucking love that. Am I even fucking going the right way? I think I have to bring this... To the to the dude. Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. All right. So I did the first bit and re retrieved the uh, thing. Samus is gonna uh, nurse. I love that there's gun interfaces in the Metroid Prime universe. Just numerous interfacing involving arm cannon. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, in, in terms of emotes, I, I wasn't even home until like a half hour ago, so I did nothing with emotes, but um, I'm still accepting Waluigi emotes and any other ideas you may have. We have two emote slots if you remove Null, that weird glitch emote. This temple's energy has been restored. 
I feel like it would be nice if that just happened automatically, but, you know, and I didn't have to come back here and watch the cutscene. But, you know, whatever. I like the music in that section. But, I mean, the, the stutters aside, this is still a really nice looking game. Like, I have to continuously pinch myself. Not really, like, you know, meta metaphysically. <laughs> I have to metaphorically pinch myself and remind myself that this is a GameCube game. Is it okay now if I if I show you not like we all haven't seen this but can I show you the Ridley? I just want to watch it with with everyone and uh and uh where the fuck is it? How do I lose files like this? I download them and then they go away. That's really weird. Um... Okay. I'm really good at losing things. Got it. Okay, here it is. The quality of the cutscene too is just so high. Look at look at how good the characters look. I want to notice or want to note a couple of things. The, first of all, I love the glow. Samus looks amazing here. I love the, the metallic sheen of the suit. Way better than even Prime, actually. I think this is one of the best, if not the best, Samus has ever looked. And then Mega Man looks amazing, too. First of all, I love that Mega Man is here. That's just the icing on the cake. But notice the slight glow, like the helmet is projecting light onto Mega Man's face. <laughs> Oh my god, they get fucking murdered! She knows. She knows. Yeah, they, they've got some real history. This is a villain... ...that is deeply in like, personal. There's fear! Because look at him! <laughs> I guess we'll watch the intro again. Why not? That was like Jape Mecha Ridley. It's not quite Mecha Ridley, but close enough. Oh, yeah, it kind of is. Unbelievable. How many- how many must die at the hands of Ridley? Before this madness ends, and we go back to calling Ridley too big. Unbelievable. So that's a good reveal. That's a really fucking good reveal. <sighs> Thanks for letting me fanboy to that a little bit. Never did I think... Never did I think that we were gonna get a Smash Brothers feature with the main new character feature being a Metroid character. It's just so bizarre that Metroid's finally getting... like, anything. Unfortunately, Adam didn't authorize me to have fun tonight, so... 
But yeah, Ridley looks um, looks like a fun character. I'm not typically a fan of the bigger characters in Smash Brothers. I think the biggest character I play is um, what is the biggest character I play? Crenando, maybe? Snake? Well, unfortunately, Snake's ass has uh, been nerfed. So, no, not Snake anymore. I don't know if you saw, but the buns deflated a bit. They would have been lethal weapons otherwise, so I understand the decision. Yeah, maybe Krenan- I'm, I'm really happy about Ganondorf. The Ocarina of Time Ganondorf looks amazing. But, not to go back to the topic of Smash... Uh, too much, because I could talk about it for a little while, and I've already talked about all this. Uh, the biggest character I probably played was Krenando, and not even that often. I, I now realize that there are probably hundreds of people here who don't know what the fuck the name Krenando is. You know, I don't think I can get this yet, can I? Oh, yeah, I can, I can. I gotta get up here. What sort of Echo Fighters do I want? Tingle as Young Link. <laughs> Who is Crenander? Uh, Crenander... <laughs> Crenander... <laughs> ...is... Ganondorf. It's a bit of a story. But yeah, I'll be using Ridley. I don't know if, if Ridley will become one of my mains, but I'm... Very excited to have another representative of the Metroid franchise. And, um... I don't know, he kind of looks cheap, in a fun way. Not cheap, not like broken, but just... I mean, he's got some pretty intensely powerful moves. Very excited. Anyway, okay, so there was some other news that I want to talk about in the gaming world, and they both involve Fortnite. <laughs> I'm so sorry. People are already pissed. No, it's, um, actually unrelated to Fortnite so much as it is, um, related to Sony. Like, for example, you probably have heard about this, but if you get your news from me for some reason, here you go. I thought this was really scum. I don't really like Sony's business practices very much. I like their system a lot. I like PS4 a lot. I like their games. Um, but I, I don't really like Sony. Here's what happened. If you have an Epic account, and you need that to play Fortnite, uh, if you've ever logged into a PS4 account with your Epic account, like if you've ever played Fortnite on your PS4, and you try to play it on Switch, you can't. You're locked out. You cannot, you cannot, you have to make a new account. So, crossplay is enabled for Xbox and Switch. But Sony, not only do they not let you do crossplay, but you're just totally locked out of the, the account. You, you can't even log in. So that is like super anti-consumer. It got picked up by a couple of uh, news outlets and people are pissed. I love that ball launcher. Holy shit. Yeah, people aren't happy about this, and even if you're not into Fortnite, it's just a thing that's happening, and it's like, really, we're still doing this? It's account-wide to all games made by Epic, not just Fortnite, so if Epic had more games on Switch, you wouldn't be able to access them, presumably. 
What if you do Switch first, then PS4? I don't know. I wonder if you do Switch, and then PS4, and then go back to Switch, and then you're locked out. But I have no idea. So, um, again, very anti-consumer. It doesn't really even make much sense from a business standpoint, other than fuck you. So there's that, and the other interesting piece of news in regards to Fortnite is that, and again, I'm probably preaching to the choir here, but... So, you know, the mobile app that makes you voice chat is pretty fucking garbage. And no one really wants to do that. That's Nintendo's solution to voice chat. You have to go through an app and use your phone. Well, as of April, Nintendo has allowed developers their choice of whether or not they want to do native voice chat right there on the Switch without having to go through an app. And, um... Fortnite does it. You can just voice chat. You don't need to use the fucking... You, you don't need to use your cell phone to chat in Fortnite. You just... You just chat. It's got a built-in microphone. Wait, it doesn't? The Switch doesn't have a built-in microphone? No microphone, you have to plug one in. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. I'd like to issue a formal retraction of my previous statement about the Switch's built-in microphone. You apparently need to plug in a headset. But still. I'd be down for that. I can go no further here in this reactor. I go to join my fallen mate, Jay Style. That's a- that's a killer fucking tag name in Final Rest. Though I die with honor, a shame falls on my house until the key I seek reaches its destination. May my brothers find my burden. That the way to the Sky Temple will be opened at last. Okay. It's time for some... Navigation. So, this was inaccessible, right? Yeah, I need Seeker Missiles for that. This is inaccessible. And, um... Well, hell if I know where to go. Hey, Simple Flips. What's up, my friend? I want to give you a quick, uh, shout-out. I believe I'm... ...contracted to do so. Otherwise, my chat would kill me. <laughs> Go back to the Great Temple. Let me see where that is. Go back to the Great Temple. It's not that great. Um, I have to go up an elevator, don't I? Temple grounds, yeah. And I still don't have any warp points or anything like that yet, so... We got a little bit of navigation, but... I know what to do now. Any house, given how scary a place the Miiverse was, are you sure voice chat on Switch would be a good idea? Yep, I think so. Of course. Give us the choice. I think regulate it. Just, you know... Maybe, uh, you have to be confirmed friends with someone to voice chat with them. If Nintendo really wants to be like that, and they, in my opinion, they shouldn't, because it's not their fucking responsibility that, you know... Every other console, PC, game experience, you you can go into the menu and you can say voice chat on or voice chat off. And maybe it could be locked behind parental settings. The, the point is, a choice is really good. 
And if they already have voice chat, that's in an app. If they already have voice chat that's in an app, I see no... I see no reason why not... Why not let the consumer choose whether or not they want to do voice chat, that's all. And, um... In regards to that... Yeah, maybe there's multiple levels. Friends only. Lobby only. Voice chat off. It's just so much easier to plug in a little headset, you know, than to, uh... Plug in a headset to your phone, go into the app, and... So, I hope more third parties continue to do that with voice chat. And Nintendo eventually just says, you know what, fuck it. Again, two steps forward, one step backwards. That's the Nintendo way. Vinny, what's your least favorite boss in this game? I don't remember. I don't remember a whole lot of anything from this game, to be honest, but I do remember liking it, and I remember the, the atmosphere, the environments. I remember the, the weapon system. I don't remember specific bosses. But, uh... So far, I'm, I'm really enjoying my playthrough of this. I was worried a little bit. I was like, oh, is this gonna be... Is this gonna be a slog? Nope. Maybe it's just because the world design is so... like, well done, and Retro did such a good job with the atmosphere, and making you... feel like Samus. You really feel like Batman! That I don't mind the exploration so much. But, uh, whatever the case is, I'm having... I'm having a lot of fun. Fun! Okay, I see, um... Yeah. Sonic, okay, we can't do that yet. What new features do I want in Prime 4? Well, we talked about this a little bit. And even though we didn't get any Prime 4 anything at E3, which is a little surprising, I expected at least a trailer. Or an announcement or something. I just want more customization, like a little bit. I want them other bounty hunters. I want a really simple but effective story. I want Samus to be more or less alone, like keep the Federation at bay. Maybe she's competing with other bounty hunters like in Prime 3. That's fine. But maybe we don't need to see them all the time. I still want to feel like I'm alone on a desolate, like crazy planet. Where everything is hostile and, you know, there's the fear that you might never come back to the surface. So, in that sense, similar to this... Uh-oh. Oh, I'm dropping frames. Okay, the, the frames are dropping. I don't know if they're going to stabilize at any point, but... I still see some... some risins. The forehead grows. He rises. On the third day, he rose from the grave! Glorious! Crusty! Woody says that's exactly why I made Vine Crust. Yeah, the problem is it doesn't communicate that it's crust very well. Where do I want to go? Um... Let me see if this is on my internet's end or if this is Twitch. Okay, down speed. 
57 megabits per second. Uh, I want to check out that small room over there, but it's probably nothing. Let me go check that out. Up speed is 5 or 6 megabits per second. That's not good. Okay, we may have a, an issue where I Vine Ryzen out, and then have to come back. Sorry, when it loads different areas, it gets real crusty. Even more crusty than usual. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm all over the place. My internet is all over the place. This is a feature, yeah. But wait a minute, this isn't Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Switch to audio only, we can use our imaginations. <laughs> Let's do a text adventure. Yeah, the stream is pretty fucking broken. I like the way you crust, Cloud. Alright, I have to come back. It's getting real bad. I'm at... Look at this. What the fuck, Verizon? I have to turn the stream off and come back. Please stick around. This is lame. Hopefully be back in a couple minutes. So I've been gone about a half hour. And, um... I've been making memes and tweeting them at Verizon very, very, very slowly while my upload speed was at, let's say, 0.2 at times. I had literally nothing else to do during my downtime. So I made some new Vine Risens. And I was tweeting Verizon the whole time. And, um, they just kept telling me their advice was, run a speed test. Even after starting the tweet chain with my speed test results. Big. This is big. So then Bab shows up. Again, this is the second time I got Bab. There's someone working at Verizon called Bab. And, um, Bab says, uh, run another speed test. Let's see if he's said anything recent. Nope. No, I ran the speed test and he just said try another speed test. <laughs> Post results here. <laughs> Thanks, dude.
I'm beginning to think that posting memes does not get my internet fixed any faster. Alright, let's play more Metroid. Uh, the rest of the night has been compromised as a result of this down- downage. As a result of this outage. Let's hope it remains at least stable enough for me to play my fucking video games. You know, this does happen from time to time. It'll start with the up speed. It'll go down a bit. And then... It'll go down some more. And then some more. And then it'll reach like point one. And then lower than point one. And then it will reset. And there's nothing I can do except wait. Even if I do tweet memes at an astoundingly slow rate. Well, I guess here we go. No, resetting the router doesn't work either. Because the, um, the up speed was good. I could have downloaded an entire movie. Let's say the entire Disney catalog of movies. Not that I would do that, but I could have downloaded every Disney movie in the time it took for me to, um, come back from when the internet went down. Every Disney movie, all in a row. Oh, their first piece of help was to tell me that I needed down speed, not up speed, for streaming. They misunderstood. They thought I was streaming, like, media. But, um, I was actually streaming video games to an audience, and not actually streaming from something. But it's, you know, it's all PR. It's just like, hey, look, we're helping. What's that? We're getting bad, you know, Twitter flack. Tough shit. Tough cookies. We did the best we could. We told them to do a speed test. It is inside me. I feel it spreading, clawing at my will, tearing at my thoughts. It moves me against my will to this cavern. Here it will end. I do not wish this. I do not want my body to become a weapon for the ing within me. It hates. It demands obedience. I will fight to the end. I shall self-terminate before I will be a pawn of a filthy ing. That's right. Self-termination in a Metroid game, a Nintendo game. Thumpst would have thumpst. It was fun to see how how and fun and sad to see Verizon was replying more to other replies rather than giving you your answer. There were, there was no answer. The only way they could do that is if they knew exactly who I was, like my service. You know, I'd have to call them on the phone, and then they would have to be able to like. I don't know if they can even do it, but reset my service from there. So... It's pretty much a lost cause to even bother tweeting at Verizon, because they just tell you to do speed tests, and then turn it off and turn it back on again. And usually by the time you get that information, it fixes itself. So, um, I'm not really sure... I think I need a direct line to Mr. Verizon himself. Can't go this way. Biostructure has been compromised by borrowing predators. Tunnel leads to control area. Compromised. Nope, no splitters here. You know, I ha this slim Ryzen is so slim, I could probably keep it up on stream at all times, and no one would be, like, upset. 
Or maybe I could just do something like this. For my next Game Boy Advance stream, I could just do this. I could make my own border. You know? That'll be the Mother 3 overlay. I'm gonna make a really good- fuck. I'm gonna make a really good one one day. I'm gonna make it... 365 width... 10,000... length, height. And it's gonna be... You, you barely are gonna know what it is. You won't know what it is, it'll be great. Let's see, I have to go this way and around. Yeah, so I don't know, uh, maybe Bloodborne can still happen, maybe not, I'm, I'm not sure. And now that I'm streaming like a thousand different things at once, it's gonna be real hard to figure out how to fit all these games in and not shaft a single game. God damn it. Do a shorter Bloodborne stream. I don't want to do a shorter Bloodborne stream because I don't want to... Um, I don't want to shaft the Bloodborne fans. Oh, this is also not really the right way. Maybe after this... <clears throat> excuse me, maybe after Metroid I can play something a little different that isn't Bloodborne, and then do... like a really substantial Bloodborne stream... um... tomorrow. Well, what would you prefer? A shitty Bloodborne stream tonight, or a full Bloodborne stream tomorrow? You could blame Verizon if you want. Door is blocked, telekinetic barrier is present. Its mental signature is similar to that of the Luminoth. Oh. Someone in chat just said, You said yesterday that you would stream two games. Unfair! With lots of caps. Can you tweet that to Verizon? It, it has to be a joke. Yeah. No, just, just tweet that to Verizon. Tell them what's going on. Let them know. Let them know. Also, life isn't fair. Um... I'm probably still gonna stream two games. But I'll probably do Metroid for like another hour. And then, you know, switch over to something else for like one hour. So... I don't know what though, I don't know what. I haven't really made a lot of progress in today's Metroid stream. Like, <laughs> at all, actually. Alright, well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it during the break. I'll try to figure out what I'm gonna stream. But... Tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna do Bloodborne. And, uh, I'll start with Bloodborne, so... You know, if there's a Vine Rising, I'll make sure it gets the proper treatment it deserves.
Verizon? Is that you? these yet? Yep. Windows Solitaire. Oh, man, I don't even want to start a new game. Vinny, did you check your download speed? Hmm. Hey, you guys should check this out. I found that picture I wanted to show you yesterday. <laughs> to be fair, that's the only thing that looks kind of somewhat weird about uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Everything else looks unbelievable. That's one of my new most anticipated games, to be totally honest. Yeah, Jamin. Yeah. Yeah, Jamin. Now, nah, Leon definitely looks a little weird. Maybe I'm just used to the way Leon looked in Resident Evil 4, and I know he's older in Resident Evil 4, but. still feel like maybe uh, they could have gotten a little closer to that. Just looks odd. Not bad, but strange for Leon. I'm gonna have to get used to it. That's like if Link suddenly became cell shaded And yes, he is like Bab in RE2. I think it's just the chin size, more than anything. Um, but those weird-ass teeth. There's some, like, weird teeth is happening there, too. This Luminoth perished due to lack of nourishment. She remained at her post despite the fact that she was starving to death. Age and combat have caused st structural damage to the statue, but is not a danger- in danger of falling apart anytime soon. God damn it. Okay, no, Jeff, you have a point. This is what Leon used to look like. Leon looked like a secondary ca character from Castlevania 64 back in the day. Leon Belmont. Actually, that's real. There is a Leon Belmont. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know where to go. Go talk to the main Mothman? What do you mean, talk to the main Mothman? I was... Wasn't I... There? Wasn't I in the room? No? Oh. Oh, I was in the power area. 
Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Let me go find the uh, main moth dude. Where's um? We gotta find the moth man. Where is the moth man? You have to take a small elevator to the command chamber. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So it's this one right here. So I'm close. I'm close. Thank God. I guess I'm not close. Thank you. Oh, I missed the scan. What do you know? It's not the first scan I missed, and it won't be the last. Trust me. So it's this area right here, I think. But I couldn't get there before. Oh, Metroid. After all these years, I still get lost so very easily. Do not jostle the bodies. Take the elevator at the bottom of the shafts. I was trying not to let anything get shafted tonight. But yeah, Verizon, how about that? How about that Verizon? <laughs> Oh yeah, we were talking about Resident Evil 2 Remake. Let's talk a little bit more about that for a minute. Because I want to point out that it's got one of the most disgusting scenes I've ever seen... ...in a video game. If you didn't watch the video for it, it's really quite... ...disgusting. The dude's like... ...face falls off. And it's in-engine. And it is the gooeyest, most... ...yummiest most ice creamiest looking thing I've ever seen. I'm lost again. Can't go up this way. Can't go up this way. There's no other ways to go. <sighs> Elevator by S? No, that's just game over. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I thought that was the drop shaft. Okay, hang on a minute. What are you doing, ball? Ball. I have to go in here. <sighs> there it is. Oh, thank God. It wasn't listed on the map, so I thought I hit a dead end. But we're good, we're good. This sure is beans. Okay, now... I gotta go to the main chamber. I think this is the main chamber right here. But I don't know now. No, it's not. I'm getting... 
Go to the E. This- this E? This goes to the Aegon Wastes. Go to left E. Oh, thank God you guys are here to help. Holy shit. Oh, okay, this E. Alright. This game is like... Activating, like, a weird anxiety I haven't felt since before GPS. I used to have to go to Google Maps, print out the map, and all of its, like, instructions, and also try to print out, you know, the, um... Print out the, the actual, like, visual of the map, so I could figure it out, just in case I got lost. But, like, even more so than that, could you imagine before that? Like, before even that, you had to ask someone for directions, or you had to have a giant map that covered, like, your entire state. Oh, I was in this area before. And I left it. Because... I thought this was the wrong way. I was like, oh, this is a dead end. Clearly. I will never make that mistake again. Hootie. Hootie. I see you. I have a question for you. So, you're a Super Metroid fan. How did you feel about the Prime series? I thank you for restoring energy to the Temple of Aegon. Your value honors the Luminoth, those who have passed, and those who remain here under my protection as they sleep in deep stasis. Be on guard, for the Ing do not suffer defeat lightly. They will surely seek revenge for your actions. They have a lust for revenge, in fact. You never played Beyond the First, but you enjoyed it. Fair enough. With the energy lost from the desert region, I was gonna say desert region, but maybe I'm hungry. They will increase their efforts in other lands. Fingers, please. It's like E.T. fingers. E.T.'s fingers always freaked me out. I have detected unusual amounts of ing activity in the Torvus sector. The enemy is on the move. The swamp lands of Torvis are treacherous, and can hinder you considerably. Bear this in mind as you move through the bog. How do you speak English, is what Samus is thinking right now. Seek the Temple of Torvis, more knowledge awaits you there. May the light of Aether serve you well. This is how one self terminates in this game. So I have to go to Torv Torvor. Torv. Just don't add a Y to the end of that word. Right. 
These were for Prime 1, right? Harmony class, drone, rogue maintenance unit. Roving mechanoid with energy-based attacks. Avoid direct contact. They're basically Roombas. Now, if you remember the conversation we had yesterday about the Roomba that scooped the poopa, then you have a good memory. Notice, as soon as I said the word Roomba, people in chat were like, Oh no. Oh no, he's talking about Roombas again. Um, Razor Roomba is my favorite r idea for a Roomba to, like, obliterate centipedes and spiders throughout your house. Vinny, how did you manage to talk about the Roomba as I was eating two nights in a row? I know when you eat. Facebook told me. But don't worry, the privacy policy has been updated. So, we're good now. I won't know when you eat. If you change your schedule, I won't know. Be sure to tape your webcam, though, just in case. Watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Zuck the suck is watching you piss. <laughs> This, like, wormy substance. Someone in chat just said, Great comedy, Vin. Really the pinnacle there. Okay, time to check your chat logs. I saw... I saw you type the word... Um... Let's see... Nah, you're pretty legit. You wrote Kappa once. That's my privacy policy. It's fine, though. You're not- you're definitely not making jokes the caliber I do. Uh, this is a collection of mutated ingworms. Bioforms have been bred for massive size. It appears the ing use these creatures to block access to areas. That's interesting. They use fucking giant worms to block access. What a silly, silly group of bad guys they are. Corrupted Sentry. Darkling possessed armed monitor system used by the Ing to protect key areas can be stunned by most weapons. Charged light energy will destroy target. Now 
notice how long we're going without a light bubble. Someone asked earlier, who would I like to see as an Echo fighter in uh, Smash Ultimate? Like if I could choose a couple of Echo fighters, it would obviously be Dark Samus, because why not? It wouldn't be that hard. Go around. Okay. The SAX. No, nah, I wouldn't want Waluigi to be an Echo character. I'd want Waluigi to be um, a wholly developed, you know, new character. Much like Waluigi's backstory and personality. Very, very developed and uh, well thought out. Venom Snake would be cool. I would, um, yeah, Dark Samus would be cool. Even Dark Link. I mean, yeah, we have three Links in the game, but if you're going to do Echo characters and just change their stats a bit, you may as well go for Dark Link. Note, I would rather have wholly original characters than Echo characters, but say Nintendo was going to do, like, um, an Echo pack. You know, it's like a DLC for five bucks, and it's just a, a number of clone characters. Maybe do that. Maybe do Donkey Kong Jr. Dark Link is an alt skin. Yeah, I mean, I've just figured maybe there's a way you can further develop Dark Link. You know, then you can have all the dark characters be their own thing. Uh, Lanky Kong, maybe, maybe one of yeah, one of the other Kongs would be cool. I think uh, any of the Kongs that are more similar to Donkey Kong. So, like Dixie could be a good Diddy Echo character. Maybe Funky or Lanky for DK or Chunky. Dry Bowser. I mean, we're getting into... Uh, maybe. What about Pauline, then? Oh my god, what if Pauline is a Daisy Echo character? An Echo of an Echo. Mega Man X.
wetness. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, wetness. <laughs> like wetness. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Poo. Just every character, but their dark counterpart, even if they don't exist. Oh man, you know what? If Sakurai wanted to be the ultimate troll, you know what he could do? He could introduce Dark Luigi. Sorry. Yeah, Dark Luigi, or, or if he wanted to be a bigger troll, Dark Waluigi. Dark Luigi is Mr. L. What what is he what's that from? Verdant land ravaged by a great deluge deluge and folly of battle. We honor the life that remains. Super Paper Mario? Oh, I haven't played that one. That's on the to-do list. Sometime between now and the next five years from now. I know when Cyberpunk comes out, that's gonna probably be like a year and a half of my streaming life. So, sometime around... You know, sometime around then. Um, who else would be a good Echo character? Paper Mario would be fun, I guess. I'm actually surprised Paper Mario never showed up, aside from maybe as like a, an assist trophy. And it could be like Mario, but with a hammer, like the, the Paper Mario hammer. I don't really like a lot of Mario's moves. I was hoping they were going to do uh, more of an overhaul than they did. I like a couple of his moves. That's why Dr. Mario exists. Yeah, that's true. Structural analysis complete. This is part of an air purification system. This unit is still active. If only at a basic level, scans indicate a general lack of maintenance. And if this unit is not serviced within the next three cycles, it will cease to function. Oh yeah, it's crusty. Someone said Isaac from Golden Sun. Ideally, Isaac would be, you know, his own character, but that series isn't probably as popular as Nintendo would want it to be for, for that to happen. Zack for Cloud, that would be good. Okay. Luminoth data pack translated. They came to the lagoon in the night, delivering true death blows before I could detect them. As my life faded, I sent a call to the cadre to warn of this surprise attack. May they find my key and dispatch the Ing who killed me. Only then will my final rest be peaceful. Shredder, exploding flying plant. Durable plant form seeks enemy targets and flies towards them, exploding on contact. I like how the Prime series music is almost its own genre. Almost, I say. Structural analysis complete, except they all have the X-Files whistle. Um, bridge currently not receiving power. Scan control post nearby to energize bridge. It 
Security gates. Torvis hanging pod, field cache for Luminoth military. Designed to hold crucial munitions and supplies for Luminoth warriors. Some may still con contain useful items over from the war. I don't know what that was. This is part of an air purification system. Unit is inactive. Recent flooding of area damage control and power systems within this unit, making it offline, will not function without major repairs. Oh. I thought I was scanning this grass. Venom weed, poisonous plant, retracts into the ground if threatened, thrives if any warm in any warm environment. I find it odd how I can read the entirety of Ode to Spot without a single miss- like, saying? Without any misspeaking? Any error? But I can't read, like, a log about grass that's, like, two lines long. Hidlings, aquatic, <laughs> aquatic miniature herd animal. Targets travel in large swarms. Contact with targets can cause minor damage. Kind of feel bad for them. Okay. <laughs> Shrieker, flying plant predator, bursts from earth, bursts from nursed and takes flight. Fire sonic blast generates stealth field that disrupts most visors. Keepers of the crackle, bringers of the fucked up sound. With so many directions to choose from, you never really know where to go in these games. You just have to get lucky. And then, once you know where to go, then you go back and go to the other place. And then go back again. Vinny, I've been re-watching your Breath of the Wild streams. I gotta say, those streams were a lot of fun to watch. I'm glad to hear that. It's a lot of streams to rewatch, though. I think the fun I was having was communicated very well while I was streaming that game. And, um... 
Yeah, I'll fondly remember those streams for years to come. God, yeah, there was a seven hour one. Wasn't it seven and a half hours? Cookbook. Yeah, the legendary cookbook segment. Going into Ganon's castle was my favorite moment of those streams, probably. Like, early Ganon, not knowing what to expect. Didn't realize I was playing Jurassic Park game. Wow. Grenchler, water-based reptilian predator, well-armored and deadly at any range. Its back shell is vulnerable to explosive blasts, however. Xenotech, Luminoth Sentinel Crystal, used to monitor key sites used by Luminoth soldiers to observe tactical areas during the war. Most are still broadcasting to you, Moss. Yay! I don't know th if this is going to be a bad confession, but I have something to confess, chat. I've never once been excited to unlock an art gallery in a video game. Okay, that's not entirely true. There's probably a couple games that I enjoyed it. But it wasn't like, oh my god, I'm about to unlock the art gallery, yes! No, not even in Winwank. Those explosions really, really, really don't agree with the game's audio engine. Galgun Art Gallery? Okay. You've convinced me. It was worth a shot. I think the water f waterfalls in this area are making the game's audio get all crackly. When, like, too much stuff happens on top of the rain and the waterfalls, the game just takes a piss. 
Vine Crispy emote when? If there's a good way to represent, like, crust, crackles, or crispiness, I'd be down, but I have no idea. I mean, someone was able to properly make an emote about my memory, so I think it's possible. I think all is possible. If you use your imagination, <laughs> and, you, and you put the effort into it, and you and you love, if you if you use love, you can do whatever you want. Except write a good script for Interstellar. No, I loved Interstellar, I, but I especially loved the part when um, everybody did a song and dance number and there was like a close-up on Matthew McConaughey's face against a dark background. It was just one light on his face and he said, Love had time of my life and I owe it all to you. I love that. Oh, wait, is that that movie? <laughs> Uh, Ing Sphere Cache Living Storage Units. But these ones, uh, they keep useful items in them. I want, like, bio pockets. I wonder if body modifications are gonna turn people into, like, pants. <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> let me- let me explain myself. Hang on a minute. Because I swear in my head it made sense. I wonder if at some point we're gonna take body mod modifications so far that someone is going to, like, get themselves flesh pockets. The fuck? Flogus. This sounds like a word I'd make up. Aquatic carnivorous plant. Incredibly resilient. Target its vulnerable nerve center when it opens its mouth to attack. Direct hits will stun the target. Oh, isn't that nice? Flips over, turns into a nice platform. Even generates some light for me, too. Yeah, Tech Jar, I read about that. Me and, uh, Nari were talking about that kind of thing. And it looks like Vulcan might be the best choice. And we might have to just suffer through the crust and slowdowns. So... Dark Sentinel Crystal. Monitor dark... Monitor system designed for use on Dark Aether. Used by Luminoth soldiers to monitor critical areas throughout Dark Aether. Few remain those that do broadcast data to you, Moss. Of Aether. University of Massachusetts. Hey, I get no respect. I'll be here all week. Oh. Luigi Dangerfield? Hey, that's a pretty good combo. Maybe that's a cosplay. Oh, Mario! Oh, I got no respect, Mario! Holy shit, it works! It works really well for Luigi.
Uh, take my brother, huh? Uh, he gets all the attention. I'm the one that gets no respect. I get left in the Koopa Kingdom. Or in spooky mansions, huh? Oh, shit. Yeah, get on there. I don't like these space pirates. These ones are really annoying. Dark pirate commando. Darkling possessed elite space pirate. Increased combat ability due to symbiotic presence. Able to phase out of local time space. Damn it. Sack gas generating plant form. Target creates beneficial gases. Poisonous sap keeps it from being eaten by most creatures. Talk about bloat sack, huh? My brother Mario's got a big one. All right, All right but I got a bigger one, huh? Uh, talk about generating uh, poisonous gases, huh? Oh! <laughs> it's time for me to stop. Vinny, it's time for you to go to bed. Okay, Vin. Sporb. Lurking carnivorous plant fires poisonous needles in battle, can grip small objects with its jaws. Verizon was trying to save all of us by taking me offline before. When I call them up, they were like, do not presume you know what's best for yourself. So I called Verizon, hey! I understand maintenance times. It is just a bizarre thing to lose up but not down speeds. Arrow Bab. Benny, when are we getting more Jurassic Sims? That game is extremely shallow. So don't expect too much more of it. I've, I've heard that there's not a lot of content to keep you going. Um, but I'm just streaming so much other shit at the moment that I cannot... I cannot guarantee there will be very much more anytime soon. Next week, maybe?
It's gonna be one of those once a week things until I get bored of it. Caloric alloy. What's your favorite new song from the Gorillaz tracks? Um, I like Sorcerers. I haven't heard today's song beyond 25 seconds. I was gonna play it during the BRB, and I still probably am. Class. Assault skiff. Light attack craft and troop transport. Vehicles uh, unarmed but heavily armored. Eliminate troops if possible before they disperse. Shoot juice. Purple juice. Finally. Couldn't wait for these motherfuckers. What used to scare the living shit out of you? Unfortunate pumpkin. No, but like, what part of this game? Just the whole game? Because there's a number of things that are kind of fucked up in this game, but I'm wondering what- if there's anything specific. Because I was a little bit older when this game came out for me, so... Possessed corpses, yeah.
The game just felt scary. Oh, like the atmosphere. Okay, fair enough. Like dead bodies, self-termination, uh, things getting possessed by darker things, um, giant floating moth people. Vinny, what's your favorite cheese? Oh man, provolone, I think. Good question. Good transition from, <laughs> from horrifying things in this game to cheese. But, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say provolone is... ...is pretty good. But mozzarella... ...when it's good, it's really good. Okay. In addition to heavy combat damage, subject shows signs of numerous ing possession attempts all failed. Resisting these assaults would require incredible stamina and psychic durability. Okay, we got the energy thing. A great warrior comes to the Temple of Torvis. May you succeed where I failed. I am Evok. Evok. The last sentinel of this temple. Heed my words carefully. Evok. Yep, it's alien looking enough. As you can see, this temple has been crippled by the ravages of war. While the main chamber has been mostly preserved, the remainder of the temple has been flooded. You must use your abilities to venture into these flooded areas and find the keys you need to enter the Dark Temple. The waters of Dark Aether are foul and venomous. Avoid them, if you can. Run your render! I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coated with emerald holograms. Search these areas now open to you. The Ing will seek your light and grant zeal, with great zeal, excuse me, do not underestimate them. The time for talk is over. Good hunting, and may the light of Aether guide your aim. <laughs> Here I am thinking Samus should just rip off one of her arms and use it as a weapon. Because them pauldrons, ridiculous. That's pretty much a bloodborne weapon. In time, we created machines to open rifts to our enemy's world. The volunteer scouts went through the rifts and found a twisted world, harsh and poisonous, a dark aether. They discovered that this world held the missing half of our planet's energy. They also saw the true face of the enemy, a race we came to call the Ing, meaning terror. Our scouts could not survive long on the surface of Dark Aether, so Venomous was its heir. Still, we vowed to return. We prepared for war. Lore projector. Do I hope Prime 4 is set after Prime 3 or after Fusion? Ideally, it would be nice to have it set after Prime 3 just because, you know, it's called Prime 4. And is it is its own, like, story. Oh my god. Okay, that kind of scared me a little bit. I think, yeah, you'd want your next Metroid game, not a numeric one, but like Metroid Bastardization or Metroid Dread or Metroid Pant to be the one that carries on after uh, Fusion. Sound is their weapon. We are immune. 
No, we're not immune, I should say. Far from it. Torvis Bearer Pod Living Storage Unit. Adorable plant form grows around useful items, produces deadly cloud when destroyed. I just don't get how that could be useful. Lordor. No, 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 no. Not back up here with the audio destroyers. Now this is interesting. This goes down. I don't think I want to do this just yet. Body has been heavily damaged by exposure to unknown chemicals, unable to determine cause of death. Probably the unknown chemicals. Target corpse has taken heavy chemical damage. There are some similarities to digestive fluids found in several creatures. Something may have tried to eat the corpse, yet it was unable to finish. Before I hit up that save station and stuff, uh, I just want to check something else out. So I opened the lore door and I didn't go this way, so... Usually introducing unknown chemicals to a life form... ...is by its very definition... ...well, unknown. So, not entirely unexpected to lead to death. I wonder if those plants are depositing unknown chemicals into Samus's face. Seems likely. Oh, uh, here's a lorb. We developed crystals that brought the light of Aether to the Dark World. Using these crystals allowed our warriors to explore the enemy lands to bring war to the Ing. Sadly, the crystals were not enough. We needed stronger weapons. We needed to charge the crystals. Better armor. We withdrew from Dark Aether while our greatest minds devised new engines of war. This is gonna be a bad room. I feel like the crackling- I, I turned it back to asynchronous, and I feel like the crackles have gotten worse. And are more frequent. Pirate Commando, Elite Space Pirate Shock Trooper. Well armed and armored, dangerous at any range, limited use, shield repels most attacks.
Wow. Just sucked my super missile. But that's how good super missiles are. Oh, that's what asynchronous does? Okay, got it. Moves the processing power from the GPU to the CPU. And if you're streaming, or your CPU's tied up doing other shit, that could certainly... That can certainly do some of the... Le be leading to some of the stuttering. I've learned so much about shaders in the past week, week and a half. I've learned so much about the way the GameCube was built. Do you think if I write to the Dolphin devs, they'll just tell me to do a downspeed test? Signed with, um, Arrow Bab? Alright, we're not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna get to the save point now. I do wonder how Verizon manages to handle the amount of people that tweet them with support calls. And then they just, like, send a dude, and here's their initials, and here's the support, which is do a down test. But... What I find also interesting... Uh... Is that I had one dude start the process with me. And then Bab, who I previously received, like, a week and a half, two weeks ago, showed back up. So I got handed off. The dude was like, I can't, I don't want to see you any- Big head memes I have nothing to do with. Bab, this is all you. So I got passed off to Bab. Bab is the certified meme response team. Maybe Bab has patience. Yes. I forgot this music was in the game. Damn it. I wanted to hear the music. Shit. Alright. Next time. Do you- Bab- Well, Bab is short for Barbara, but I think it's their initials. So, it's not like the dude's name is Bab, or the person's name is Bab. It's their initials. So, it's probably Bob... About... Barglar. You know, because the previous dude was YXR. Wow, there. Holy shit, there's a lot of people. Looking at the thread on Twitter, there's like three different people. There's JRA, who's responding to me. Then there's, um, YXR, who's responding to randos in the thread. Then Bab shows up halfway through and starts to take over. Then another person named CCW. And then someone else started complaining. And they say, we understand it's most- it's important to get the most from your service. Holy shit. Um, th then ET shows up! Let's take a closer look at this with you. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't even know there were this many technicians trying to help. Look at this one. Hang on, I did a bad job. Uh... Oh 
Oh no. Oh no. Hello? Am I still live? Okay. Streaming program like froze for a second. Service, capital C E. So ET shows up. Hang on, I want to read a couple more of these. Then I'm going to take a quick break and play another video game of some kind. But, um, yeah. So we're up to five different people. And... Uh... They're all over the place. Then you have LJP. Someone wrote, Happy belated anniversary to Verizon being slow. This is not the kind of service we want to hear you are getting. You always deserve stellar service, and we're here to help you. Please follow and DM us. Prime 2, ruined by Vine Ryzen. Good evening, and thank you for taking the time to reach out to us with your feedback tonight. We never want you to feel this way. Please follow and DM. And then you get in the DMs, they're like, hey girl. Uh, and that's by AFM. So AFM is here as well to help. Again, none of these people except Bab are helping me, so these are just like other people complaining and getting help. Oh man, this is this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Alright. I'm wondering if it's bots or if it's people who are just tweeting all day with like scripts. I don't know. Anyway. Prime 2. I'm enjoying it. More soon. I'll be sure to switch back to Synchronous. I don't know what I'm going to stream next, but I'll stream it for an hour. And, um... You know, whatever it is. It'll be fun. So... Stick around for just a little bit and video game and the reason I'm not doing Bloodborne again is because I'll only stream Bloodborne for an hour. I'm gonna do Bloodborne tomorrow and uh, shitty internet, sorry, but tomorrow for sure. Be right back.